to the microphone because it's so cheap and great. Huh? I just got a new microphone. Hello everybody, my name is Nick Ventiquatro here, back with another video of Twins24 here. And today we're gonna to do the very first unboxing review of the Movo VXR10 Pro shotgun microphone. Now before we actually get into the video, be sure to subscribe right down here and click on the notification bell for constant updates or uploads, whatever you call it. Now, this microphone it's a super cardioid condenser shotgun microphone. And the other one, the original mobile VXR10 microphone, is a original cardioid which actually picks a lot in the front, some of the sides, and rejects almost all of the back. But super cardioid is much tighter, which picks a lot in the front, rejects some of the sides, and gets some of the back, which I do personally think that is a great advantage wherever you're doing like interviews or stuff. And that is a great advantage that this $50 microphone in the US and this one, the original one, is $40 in the US. This one, I think the reason why it's $10 uh, more expensive than the original Mofa VXR10 because of its new Ryko shock mount. As you can see right over here, let me just bring it down. You will see this brand new shock mount. It gets a lot of noise reduction, which I personally love a lot. It has two windscreens, the foam, which I've been looking forward to it once I plug into this camera, the Canny SO2 or 200D. Um, it has a, um, a dead cat, which actually, it's even more a protection for the wing. Getting right into the audio of the microphone, which I like a lot. A TRS cable, which is for cameras, and the TRRS output cable, which is for smartphones, as you can already tell. And the hard shell case, which is great for protection if you're ongoing, if you're doing any vlogging, that's perfect for you. And without further ado, let's get started. So this is what the box looks in the front. Let me see inside. Let me see which I'm doing. Is this that way? Yeah. It comes from Movo. And the back, if you want to activate the two, you want to. Alright, here we go. Oh! And, yeah, instruction manual, um, something over there. We'll just leave it over there, just in case. It's, it's nothing too important. Now, this looks pretty nice. And it's small too, so you can put it right to your camera case, which is great. Come in the box! We have, oh, Movo. The cables, because since my previous order, <laughs> they got the wrong. See? See which one's camera? See? TRS cable! That's the one I've been talking about. That's what, the reason why I'm not getting the audio as I wanted. And we need a TRRS cable. There freaking is. Smartphone. Done. Comes with the windscreen and the microphone. Yay, this is cool. And also the headphone jack. The line out, plug it into your camera, go over here, windscreen, very, very amazing. But first, oh, this is actually tighter, they actually did good. Because I think it's a little bit more slipperier than the other one. This is actually pretty nice. So that's good. The Ryko shock mount, which is great for noise reduction. There's nothing else in the box, so we'll just pull over here. Now, let's get into how you can actually get into this point of that. The good thing about this or that, both together I meant, um, you get even more protection of the wind. So, that's a great advantage. And when you're doing vlogging, this Ryko shock mount is a ton better than the original one. So, here it is. This is the windscreen, we finally unboxed it. So, plug it in there. In, it's nice. Now, let's insert the shock mount. Although, shiny a little bit, the, the windscreen. <laughs> like that. Ow. <laughs> but 
it has a nice tidy grip and the one thing I like it really compresses so good and it just does not awesome. oh my fingers okay and then let's put it in look at that see how professional this looks I do personally like this over that the original Phoenix R10 and I don't have any time to put this on because I just want to get into the oil test now before we actually do here. Instruction manual. Pretty simply straightforward. Super Karyoid. Now, so this is what Super Karyoid looks like. You can see real front and close. Yeah, you can see the bottom a little bit of tiny down there. Yeah, it looks like Karyoid. But just like they just edited it and just put a little, little bit of gold in the bottom. But that is a perfect example of what Super Karyoid is going to be look like. And yeah, now I'm just going straight right to the audio test and see how the Mobile Feet XR10 Pro sounds. Okay, now you're all hearing the Mobile Feet XR10 Pro. And the good thing about it is the TRS cable is working. So we gained the audio just good as we thought it. Is it better? Is it worse? Leave it down in the comments below which sounds better in your own personal opinion. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay, I just went back to the camera and I heard the audio. It sounds very, very professional-like. It sounds really crisp. And that's why Super Karyoid, it makes it more squishier and picks a lot in the front. And that's a great thing. Even the back too. And I was getting really good audio. So I don't have any time to just replace the original uh, Movo VXR10 microphone. So now that's going to be in the Sinar pile back there now. And I'm going to be now using this microphone over this one for just about $40. $50, $10 extra, it's totally worth it. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to go outside to the backyard for a wind test. Test, I said that twice. A wind test to actually... You had to point what the audio sounds like with these two onto the microphone. Let's get it. Okay, so now we're outside of a beautiful sunny fall day. It's about 70 degrees Fahrenheit around that range. And it's so beautiful outside. And I do believe it was so hard to put in the windscreen. It took me like a couple of minutes to put it on because how really tight it actually was. And that's a good thing about this microphone. It actually has not one, but two windscreen. Like the foam windscreen that actually helps for like, if you're indoors, like where it's like Peter Pickle Pickle Peppers, like the blue snowball ice that I usually have, which I'm still using it to this day for right now. And the windscreen does a great job of blocking all the wind. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna be walking around. I'm gonna be jiggling and hear if there's any bouncing right to the audio. Let's do it. So I'm just going to turn this way. And here we go. So that was super cardio. We're walking, walking. I'm going to bounce up and down. See, look at that. See how nice it actually works with this microphone. Super cardio is one of the goodest, I think most fractured use of equipment of a microphone till this very day and still further so on. So ever. now I'm got the flip screen back and that's great news. And overall, this microphone is one of the best I've ever owned to this day, very on. Movo, great job on the microphone. I give this an A+, and I love the Ryko shock mount. The microphone was super cardioid. It sounds crisp. It's clean. The build quality is much better with the shock mount and even the microphone. Two windscreens, even the headphone jack. This microphone, I really love it. So now let's go back inside. And there you guys have it with the very first unboxing review. This has been very successful. And thank you, Movo, to making this microphone sound so terrific and sound crisp. And if you guys haven't probably noticed, uh, I put the original Movo V XR10, which way I'm doing it, I put it in here with this microphone. I put it here, so if I want to use this as a backup, this microphone does it good for the job. So we're gonna wrap up the video. I hope you guys like this unboxing review. Be sure to smash the like button and be sure to click down here for the notification bell for constant updates. And be sure to subscribe as well as too. As always, be sure to like the video, 
comment do so, share it to your friends, and subscribe for more. And there will be also be side-by-side -side comparison with the Mobile V XR10 original to the Mobile V XR10 Pro for comparisons in somewhat other next video or whatever time I have in that state of day. But anyways guys, I'm gonna stop talking now. I will end the video here. Bye everyone.